Hi there, Ivan here. Today I would like to give a brief introduction into the i3 window manager. If you want to play along with uh, my demonstration, please grab a live CD from this URL. If you boot up the live CD, the default will be set to the XFCE4 desktop. For those who don't know, the XFCE4 desktop looks similar to Windows desktops or to Mac OS X desktop. But today we talk about the i3 desktop. So if you log out from the live CD and you choose on the upper right corner i3, then uh, enter username uh, hacker with the password compass, then you will enter the i3 uh, window manager. The i3 is geared towards the, I would say, console and terminal Windows based people. So it's a geek style window manager. It's made for efficiency. Uh, you can create, move, or rearrange windows quite easily and fast. But you need to get a learning, or you have a learning curve until you know at the beginning you're slow and then it, uh, eventually you get quite fast. There's one um, very important um, key, it's called the modifier key. The modifier key in this presentation uh, we'll call it mod. And, uh, is set in the live CD, in the recent live CD, to the ALT key. So whenever I say uh, ALT, uh, please refer that to be meant the modifier key, the mod key. I will first do a presentation or a live, live uh, demo uh, using the i3, uh, a recent live CD, and afterwards we go through the slides. Okay, that's, let's do the demo first. Okay. That's the XFC4 desktop, as I uh, explained. This looks like Windows. You can uh, you have here your menus, uh, but it's not the purpose of this uh, video. So let me log out from here. Uh, now I need to set uh, i3. Username is hacker with the password compass. So that's the default desktop. Um, now you need to start something. Everything is uh, keyboard shortcut based. So by entering Alt Enter or Mod Key Enter, because the live CD has set Alt as the Mod Key, I will open a terminal. Yes, for sure you can change to to open a browser or something if something else. But on the live CD, the Mod Key Mod Enter is set to a terminal. To all accredited. As you see, the new terminals will appear on the right. So that's because there is an opening strategy. So if you want to have new uh, windows opening on the right, you, you must do nothing. If you want to have a window below, you press Alt V for vertically. And here, then you open new terminal below. And this is true for the currently active window. So I switch the window by Alt and the arrow key. And if I want, let's say I have here a command I want to move this uh, little window around. I press Alt, Shift, and arrow key. Now I can uh, move around this window wherever I want to have it. I want, if I want to increase the font size, that's um, referring to Alacrity, which is the terminal in this case, I press Ctrl plus. Uh, so uh, increased and uh, Ctrl minus will decrease the font size. If I want to close the window, Alt F4, and now I have my default windows. Uh, if you see on the lower light, uh, left corner, we have a 1 referring to the workspace. If I press Alt and, set and 2, I get a fresh copy, fresh uh, workspace, Alt 3, the next fresh, and every workspace is listed with its unique number. Let's say I want to open something else than a, a terminal, uh, I have to hit Alt D. This will start the launcher. Open Google Chrome, for example. Uh, if you want to open another command, Alt D, launcher, let's say Tunar File Explorer on the root file system, that's it. If you want to close uh, Tunar, Alt F4. If you want to open Tunar below uh, this uh, Chrome browser, I changed the opening strategy from horizontal view to vertical view, uh, Alt V, and then Alt D for the uh, launcher, Tunar, 
two nor sorry and uh, now it will open uh, below all the four is uh, going back let's say uh, as i said uh, if i want to change here the strategy to below alt v and if i want to change it back to uh, horizontally alt h now it will change to uh, horizontally and so by doing so and with a little bit of practice you you have a preferred way of organizing your windows okay you, let's open a new workspace so you're opening some windows here uh, this is the, the split view uh, if i want to have them tapped alt uh, w now the windows are tapped maybe i should uh, type something as you can see here I'm switching throughout the windows with tap this is in the browser the same if you want to have stacked alt s then the windows are stacked not tapped if you want to have split that's what I prefer is uh, alt e if you want to have one floating window, let's say this one as uh, floating, Alt, uh, Shift and Space, you have a floating window. If you want to make one window a floating or any other uh, full screen, Alt F, exiting full screen, Alt F. Maybe that's uh, nice uh, where we have the browser. Okay, and now I want to set the browser to full screen. I switch the active window to the browser and Alt F. Alt F goes back to the previous view. Sometimes the browser is or the, the i3 window manager needs a restart and you don't want to log out and restart everything. So there's a, a shortcut Alt Shift and R. This will uh, generate this flicker, flickering effect. This will actually restart i3 in the back. If you want to leave your desktop, Alt Shift and E, and you have this orange bar, you really want to exit. Yes, I want to exit. And you will then uh, locked out. Now I'm locked in again. Alt Enter, Alt Enter, or Mod Key Enter, Mod Key Enter. As I said, I like uh, Alt as the Mod Key, but you like something different. So that's configurable. If you download the live CD from the URL I showed you, then it's Alt. Okay, I think that's for the moment. I will now go back to the presentation and the PDF should be, uh, you can download it from this uh, section below from the YouTube video. Um, so let's see if, uh, what I missed uh, from, from the slides. Okay. Alt number is the selection of the workspace, the mod, Alt enter opening a terminal, launcher, Alt D, uh, Alt F4 closing a window, Control D, I missed that, but the hang up exit, uh, Alt Shift and R restarting, and Alt Shift and E exiting the desktop. That's, I think, everything covered. The opening strategy, opening the window on the right or below, is uh, horizontal mode or vertical mode, Alt H or Alt V. Uh, selecting the currently active window by Alt and Arrows key. Um, moving around the active window is uh, Mode Shift and the Arrow key. Then the different views. I like split view the most, but if you like tapped view, view mode or full screen or stacked or whatever, these are the shortcuts. I think I covered everything. To increase the font, this is only related to Alacriti, is Ctrl plus or minus to increase or decrease the font size. And if you like what you have seen here and you want to play along or try yourself, please grab a live seed. It's free. It's an OVA, Open Virtualization Appliance file. You can import it in your preferred uh, hypervisor, VirtualBox or VMware Workstation Fusion on the Linux OS X or Windows and uh, play, uh, uh, play around with the i3 window manager. That was it for today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.